Hey everybody, so really quickly I want to do this video because I have recently tried a new product for my hair that I know a lot of people like I've talked about or, and know about but um, I haven't seen a lot of, well I don't know, I really haven't researched it but uh, I know it's not something a lot of African American women get. Um, <clears throat> my hair is natural and I know a lot of people think, oh, natural, then your hair, like, your hair has to be kept in that curly afro, you know, you cut it so that it's, like, really short. That's not necessarily natural. I mean, it is natural, but being natural just means that you don't have any foreign chemicals, like straighteners, perms, all that in your hair. It means your hair is its natural texture and it, all that. That means you just don't have anything like that in your hair to you know like straighten it or anything like that it's your, it's it's natural texture that's what being natural means so a lot of people that go natural think oh I'm going natural so that means I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna have you know wearing that curly afro thing all the time it's like no being natural just means you're not putting anything in your hair to straighten it you know or change its texture in any way shape or form so yeah I just wanna kill that cause like people don't believe that my hair is natural just because I keep it straight all the time my hair is completely natural I <laughs> my hair, have you, if you've watched my hair video, my hair is 100% natural. It was thick. When I was getting perms, it's even thicker now that I don't have a perm. And I haven't had one for almost like three years or so. Um, it's just, I just flat iron my hair. I like my hair straight because it is a lot of maintenance to keep my hair curly. Because I have to put more product in it because it dries out a lot faster. So I had to put in like leave-in conditioners and curl enhancers to make sure everything's moisturize which is a lot and then I had to pretty much like co-wash it every day which is I just wet it put a conditioner in it and then you know like a leave-in conditioner in and put that in which is a lot so that means my hair is pretty much wet every day and that's a lot um but anyway I'm not talking about my hair journey or anything um I my stepmom has tried this for about a year and she loves it her hair is very soft um, very fine whereas mine is thick but it's soft and it's curly so yeah anyway um, it's the keratin treatments um, this one she saw on she got it done at a salon uh, the Dominican salon and it's keratin treatments are protein treatments for your hair that make it more manageable they don't straighten your hair they don't change the texture my hair is still gonna be curly when I wet it but it's gonna make it softer and more manageable so that when I comb through it it's a lot easier to comb through and blow dry and flat iron and I'm not spending so much time doing my hair because I mean I could spend like a couple hours blow drying and flat ironing my hair so it just makes it more manageable um, it doesn't straighten it not at all um, but she went to Dominicans the first time she got it done and it's expensive to get done in a salon but she so her and her uh, cousin were like okay we gotta find a new way to do this because there's no way I'm gonna go to a salon and keep paying for these treatments they're expensive so she saw on I think she said QVC or something like that where they were selling um, these kits to do your own character treatments at home so she bought it I think she said it was like a hundred and something dollars but she's been using it for like two years and it's great like it's worked well for her it's kept her hair a lot more manageable and the company is called Coco and um, they I mean you just have everything you need to um, just like you know all the stuff that you need I'm trying I'm trying to find all the products so that I could show you um, sorry so yeah um, I don't know what this is what is this oh it's just a tiny bottle okay so yeah so she um, I she was telling me about it and I was like you know what I really want like I, I love my hair but it's just so much work trying to maintain this like I will wait to the last minute to wash my hair like I will wait till I'm like okay it is just dirty to wash my hair because it takes so much time to wash and blow dry and flat iron my hair it is just no it's not fun so I was like hopefully I'm praying to God that this makes my hair way more manageable and it's not as like you saw in the video it was just like massive um but it's called Coco's um, keratin treatment and 
it's funny because I know a lot of people are like keratin or from how to hide and all this and that but it's funny my stepmom said she was you know researching it and all that and she was like there's one thing that has formaldehyde in it that a lot of people use a lot of women use and you don't realize it mascara has formaldehyde in it and we put that right up next to our eyes sorry we put that right up next to our eyes you know we it's it's you know it's something that we you women use almost every day and it has formaldehyde in it and I'm pretty sure it's only a little bit, but it's something we put in our eyes, and I have yet to have my eyeball pop out or anything bad happen to it. So it's like you know, I, it you know, it's really who's making it and all that. And I'm like, okay, mascara has formaldehyde. I haven't heard anybody complain about their eyeball falling out, bleeding or something. So you know, that that whole argument is like, uh, whatever. But um, this is what the bottle looks like. This is the shampoo this is the clarifying shampoo so the first step you have to do is you have to wash you wash your hair with the clarifying shampoo and this strips out all oils and stuff like that so the keratin treatment can really get into your hair and bond to it and do its job so it's you're gonna have that squeaky feeling which a lot of people don't like because like oh no all my natural oils and all that are gone but you need that squeaky feeling in the beginning so that the keratin can do its job and really get in there so the first thing I did was I used the clarifying shampoo, washed my hair, you know, just sat there, did it twice. I think I did it twice because my hair is really dirty. I washed it twice until I felt like it was like, it, you can almost feel the squeak in your hair and how like clean it is. So I did that and washed it. My stepmom then took the, um, the actual treatment, which is extra strength formula for resistant hair, which I have. Um, so this is the treatment, the Brazilian keratin treatment, and the company is by Coco's. And um, what she did was she just sectioned my hair off like into four parts like she you know put part of my hair down the middle and did four sections um, two big buns up here and two in the back and then it's almost like putting in hair color she just did it on it only goes on your roots because that's really where you want the most manageability especially for african-american women is on your roots those are the ones that usually that's the part that usually takes the longest to straighten and take care of and whatever so she, you know, parted my hair with a um, with a little brush that she used to put color in, and she was just painting on the uh, the treatment into each little part, each little section, almost like she was putting in a perm, but not. And um, she had to use about five ounces of the stuff. She used only about two on her hair, but her hair is a lot shorter than mine, and it's softer and it's finer. Mine is thick, so she had to use about five ounces on me. Um, so she put that in, uh, you know, just all through my hair, let it sit. She um, wet it a little bit and like ran, like combed everything through to make sure it all just went in and it was just really worked into my hair. And then um, you don't wash it out. You don't wash it, rinse it, nothing after that. After that, you take a blow dryer, you blow dry your hair, and you blow dry it so that it's kind of dry. Well, it depends. Like she has a wet to dry flat iron, so she didn't have to completely dry my hair. But, um, like you blow dry your hair, you know, like you normally would just blow dry, blow dry, blow dry, blow dry, and then you flat iron it. So the flat iron is what really infuses the keratin treatment into your hair. And I'm sorry if you hear that dumb laugh. That was my little brother again. But the the flat iron is what really infuses the keratin treatment into your hair. I know X Sparkage, I think that's what she got on her hair. And, um, what they do is they, like you part it, like you would flat iron your hair. And but you have to it has to be set to a certain temperature like it's there's like a range that you can set it to and it's it's like the higher the heat the more it's going to infuse the treatment sorry the more it's going to infuse the treatment in your hair and really seal it in so you're supposed to go over each piece about 10 times So, it's supposed to go over each piece about ten times and really work it into your hair and really so that it really just bonds and you know does its job. So it took even longer because it really sitting there like okay, okay, and, you know it's straight but it's like okay we gotta seal it in we gotta seal it in. So oh my god it took forever to finish my hair and um, she kept kind of burning me because my hair was still wet. And the steam was like, oh my god. 
So I ended up just going through with my flat arm, my chi after everything was done and just really going in straightening, like getting my roots really straight. As you can see, they're nice and straight and like great. And um, you wait, you have to wait 20, 48 to 72 hours, I think that's, yeah, 48 to 72 hours, 72? 72? No, 48, 70, yeah, 48, 72. I don't know, whatever, I'm bad at math. Yeah, 72. You have to wait two to three days. There we go. To, before you can wash your hair again. And then that's where you really see how good it works. Because once you, like once you wash your hair, you'll see how manageable it is, how soft it is. And it'll just be like, it, that that's where you really get your proof that this has worked so my stepmom's excited because she's like you know, her hair is so soft but it'll be really good to see how it works well on my hair because my hair is thick and it's soft and it's like oh oh my god when I came out the shower she was like oh huh. oh my god she touched it she was like oh my god I was like yeah I told you it was curly <laughs> yeah so yeah it was just yeah, she was like, she didn't realize how thick my hair had got, well, not had gotten, but how thick my hair naturally is, just by itself. Because uh, she hasn't done my hair in years. And when she did do my hair, I had a perm, obviously, so it was like, it was thick, but it was pretty straight. Now it's thick and curly, and it's like, oh my god, great, now it's thick and curly. So I have to, I actually have to, like, warn people when they, if they want to do my hair, my hair is natural. It is thick. It is very curly. So... You are going to be at this for a minute. It's going to be drying for a while. Yeah, I can't just I can't just walk into a salon and not tell people my hair is natural, because they will cry if they see me when it's all washed out. They will cry. So yeah, um, I really do hope that this works like well for me, because I'm just. She said it's supposed to last like about six weeks, but then it depends on how often you wash your hair because it washes out with each wash that makes sense so it's gonna slowly it's not like it's a permanent thing it's gonna eventually wash out of your hair and um so you can redo it again and again and again like i said it's a protein treatment it's not damaging at all for your hair what i love about this is it smells like chocolate so you know how you do your hair and or like you get a perm and it stinks oh it's got that nasty uh chemical smell and you just oh um or when you flat on your hair sometimes you get that burnt hair smell blow dry flat iron everything smelled like chocolate like straight chocolate smelled like we were baking something it was just perfect because it was like yes i smell like chocolate i still kind of smell like chocolate a little bit so it's like mmm that's not chocolatey <laughs> so it's, it's great because it's not something this this really um well the shampoo doesn't smell like chocolate it's it's this see see chocolate chocolate so the actual treatment is what smells like chocolate and I suggest if you can find the Coco's treatment and get that because it um they also it also came with a hair serum like a shine serum that works so well smells so good and it's just like the perfect it's like the whole system is just great it's it's so good for the shine and all that and um you get it's like you get a um oh I'm sorry you also get a conditioner that you can use, um, let me see, yeah, this is a conditioner you can use after, like, when you wash your hair, afterwards, you can put the conditioner in, uh, like, when you, after the two or three days, you can put this conditioner in, and, you know, it'll keep your hair nice and soft and silky and all that, but I'll probably be gone by then, so I won't be able to use that conditioner, but, whatever, but they, I like that they give you, they give you tiny bottles of, the shampoo and the treatment and then you get the big refillable bottles of the shampoo and the treatment so that you don't have to like be lugging these around all over the place you got these tiny little bottles to carry with you so yeah I like that but um that's really all I wanted to talk about I just wanted to let you guys know that I got the treatment done and then I'll probably be back in like a couple weeks not a couple weeks probably like the second time I wash it second or third time I watch it I'll probably be back just to see you know show you guys how good it is and how you know tell you about how it's been working for me if it still left my hair nice and manageable after the third time washing it or not so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was informative 
I hope that you guys don't think I'm crazy. And I hope you guys really try this keratin treatment because it really, my hair feels like, oh my gosh, it feels so soft. It feels so good. And the more you flat iron it, the more it gets infused into your hair. So it's just like, oh my god, okay, something tried to kill my eyeball. Great, great, freaking great. Something's trying to kill me. Ah, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm dying over here. Alright, so that's it for this video. Um, I love you all, and I hope that you guys try this if you feel like you need it because it's a great alternative to perms. I hate perms. I hated them when I was younger. But I never felt like I needed them. I never did, obviously. I never needed them. <laughs> so, yes, I love this as an alternative to getting a perm, even though I was never going to plan on getting another one. But anyway, you know what I mean. So I'm going to stop rambling, and I will see you guys later. Bye.